Hey, hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Dr. Frankensteel, and today I'm going to be making a metal foundry out of an ammo can and some bricks from Home Depot. So why I chose an ammo can is what I have. It's been sitting around for quite some time, and I'd kind of like a metal foundry that I can just, when I'm done, I can just put it on the shelf. It's going to be a little heavy, but it's, it's like self-contained. It's not like some big, bulky bucket. Um, I don't have any flowers, so I can't really dress up a metal foundry to look like a flower pot. I just went to Home Depot and got some brick to cement it all together. I'm just going to use some cementol rapid set grout. It's not recommended for metal foundries or forges. It's what they had on hand. They didn't have any heat stop or anything like that. I was just like, I, I don't want to invest a lot of time into this. I just want to do it today. That's it. Trial and error. If it doesn't work, whatever. I'll come back to it another time. So, yeah. Rapid set grout. Just some standard brick. These are 60 cents a piece. Home Depot. Another thing I did pick up is a stainless steel coffee cup. This has a higher melting point than what I'm melting. Stainless steel will melt around 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm melting will take 1,800 Fahrenheit. So hopefully this will hold up. If not, I'll, I'll just go back to the drawing board. I could have got something smaller. They had little shot glasses. I'm like, eh, that's too small. I, I at least want to melt something of a good size in it. Let's go ahead and uh, start putting it together. Not the greatest at cutting bricks as you can see so you want to cut the bricks respirator and a fresh cutting blade now this is not the stuff you use for foundries but i've made, made a founder before but i use plaster of paris plaster of paris and clay sand it'll work but it doesn't last very so i'm going to use this stuff it's kind of an experiment that i'm doing hopefully it'll work this is quite a big investment just for an experiment i have a little bit of experience from the other one i built so i'm taking that into account and i want this one small i usually use this stuff a lot at work for setting fence posts, handrails, guardrails, different stuff like that. It's pretty solid stuff. If you're considering doing something like this, do your research. Um, don't just go off of what I'm doing. Um, if you leave this in the bucket, it will dry, but uh, being as this is plastic and flexible, you can just break it out. So the grout's all dry, pulled out the plastic bucket to form a hole. None of the brick is showing, but it's really in there just for uh, structure rather than just, just the grout alone. So now I can in drill a hole for the torch. I think I'm gonna start with just one torch for now. If it's not enough heat, I'm gonna go ahead and drill another hole on this side. So my first attempt failed. I think the stainless steel cup was just a little bit too thick. I was having trouble having the heat get in the inside of the cup. Am I either gonna have to wait for my crucible or I can give this a shot? This is an old stain can. There was stain in it. There's probably a little bit of coating in there. It might just like burn off, but I'm gonna try this. It's thin enough. It is steel. Worst comes to worst, it just melts.
So these propane torches did not work. This is the one from Home Depot. And uh, the other one I had for a while was a clicker, but then I dissected it and fitted an acetylene tip on it. This won't work. I had no other ideas and I was using what was on hand. So neither of these are gonna work. I was gonna stop the project for the day, work on my own thing, get ready for the work week. But then I did some research and I found out that Harbor Freight has a bigger torch. So I bought one and I'm going to see if it works for the ammo can foundry. If not, I'll just take it back. Yeah, not bad. So it's taking some time to get going. It's actually red hot at the bottom, but it's just not wanting to melt the copper. I think it might be the stainless. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull out stainless crucible and swap it out for my own. It is pretty hot. So it's not exactly getting hot enough to melt. It's getting hotter than the standard torch, but not hot enough to do what I want it to do. Now where I think I was going wrong, I was trying to melt down copper when I should have been trying to melt down aluminum. This torch setup is just not hot enough to melt copper. To melt copper, I think I would need a propane blaster and a large size bottle of propane, which is a little bit more of an investment than I wanted to do for this project. But the ammo can itself as a foundry is gonna work just fine. The foundry will eventually degrade and I'll have to redo the inside with new brick and quick set grout um, it's just the nature of what happens even if you go and buy one from amazon the inside is not going to last forever for this build at least i now know what to do and what not to do um, the smaller bottles just don't really get all that hot maybe to melt aluminum so if you're doing aluminum you probably go with this setup so i hope you like this video and i'm sorry i've been going through a little bit of a hard times my truck breaking down and uh quitting an old job and starting a new one so I, i've been kind of hectic and trying to get this video out was a large task that I couldn't really handle at the moment. The new job is awesome. I don't get dirty at all compared to my other job. I get dirtier by doing the stuff I do at home than I do at work. And my truck is almost fixed so I'm probably going to do a few videos on that. It's uh, definitely another project. All kinds of vacuum leaks and wires that are fried. It was, it was pretty bad. Again, I'm sorry for all the late content. Uh, hopefully I'll get back on the ball with uh, my new job and getting the old truck fixed. I do plan on using this ammo can for what I set out to do with it. So uh, stay tuned and maybe I'll get going on it soon. I really want to melt down some copper, aluminum, and brass to use in um, future projects. So uh, when I get it going, I'll be sure to post a video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.